to solve this equation using the quadratic formula. Remember from the previous example, the quadratic formula states that the variable we're solving for, in this case, x, is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The values for a, b, and c in the formula come from the coefficients on our three terms in the trinomial. The value for a comes from the coefficient on the x squared term, which in this case is 1. So we say that a equals 1. The value for b comes from the coefficient on the x term, which in this case is negative 3. So we say that b equals negative 3. And the value for c comes from the constant term, which in this case is negative 4. So we say c equals negative 4. Plugging these three values in for a, b, and c into the quadratic formula, we have x equals negative b, which is negative of negative 3, or positive 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 3 squared, or positive 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4, all over 2a, which is 2 times 1, or 2. Simplifying inside the radical, we have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, which is 9 plus 16 over 2. Simplifying further inside the radical, we have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 2. And root 25 is just 5. So we have 3 plus or minus 5 over 2. So our solution is either 3 plus 5 over 2, which is 8 over 2, or 4, or 3 minus 5 over 2, which is negative 2 over 2, or negative 1.